Welcome back to the Rev Report guys. Today we have a very special car that we're going to be looking at and going to be taking it for a test drive today with our special guest here. What was your name? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so we have what was your name? Marty. So we have our special guest here, Marty. Nice to meet you, Marty. How are you? <laughs> Good, thanks. How are you? Good. So he owns this beast of a machine which he engineered himself. And oh my god, I'm speechless honestly. It's a 1M. Okay. It's a BMW 1M. <laughs> Can anybody notice something different? Does the license plate give you a hint? Or the um, the airbox? <laughs> well, if not, this is a 4 litre BMW M3 E90, E92, E92, E92 M3 V8 Chucked in this small, small ass BMW 1M Like this is just wow I don't know And it's just like, has those 20 inch wheels from BMW and those M4 seats <laughs> yeah it's just like wow this thing is clean and how long did it take you to finish up all of this roughly seven days in seven days guys like wow it took me a year to freaking get that car running can you believe that seven days Wow, and how's it been so far driving it's been, it? It's been awesome. <laughs> it, it's just an, on another level compared to the N50, original N54. Oh, wow. It's like, it, it's, you, can't, you can't compare the two cars. Yeah. On a track, it's so much quicker around the corners. Mm. The set of gravity, the, it's, the V8's lighter than the N54. Yeah. The set of gravity is much lower. That's and actually just, insane. It's just, it's just crazy fast around corners yeah and it's more because the car doesn't output so much power like the n54 mm. it's much more drivable compared to the to, to a turbo engine yeah because you don't have to feather it into the corner you just smash it into the corner mm. if that makes sense yeah so yeah, yeah. It, it's so much it's so much better like all because of it, the lighter v8 gives a lot it a lower, of VA, lower center of just gravity more, just more more fun yeah Oh, it's like I can a, imagine, man. This is just insane. I actually test drove a BMW once. It was a 1 Series, the um, F20 LCI. Yep. 2019. Yes. And man, that car, till now, I remember how it drove. It was amazing. Yes. I don't... I, I can't imagine how this one is like to drive. Like, this is just going to be like 100 times better, right? <laughs> Correct. Oh, well, this is engineered. God. This is fully engineered. Yeah. But it's fully legit. It's it's got coilovers, yeah, uh, which are fully engineered. We've got uh, Olin's road and track. Uh, what else? It's got AG AG wheels, yeah, uh, from t uh, twenty inch wheels. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, and it's got um, brand bow brakes all around. Yeah. On on factory size discs. From which supercars were the brakes? Did you say? The front brakes are from an Audi R8. Mm -hmm. And the rear brakes are from a Porsche 996. That is just insane, guys. And with a weight of 1,420 kilos. <laughs> oh. Full tank of fuel. Wow. That is like, I don't want to <laughs> experience the brakes in this. This is just insane. Wow. And like. Yeah, and how quick is it from what, 0 to 100 case? Uh, 4 seconds flat. 4 seconds flat. Yeah. Damn. And does it have like a limited slip differential? Yes, and... it's all standard. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Every, pretty much everything is the, the gearbox is standard except mm. it's got a tune yeah. for quicker shifts Yeah. from, uh, from a uh, BMW GDS, yeah. uh, E92 GDS and it's got it's got its factory tune. Yeah. It passes all emissions. You, you can drive it anywhere you want. And it's not going to give you any hassles. Yeah. And it doesn't smell. It doesn't buck. It doesn't just. It's just smooth and it's simple. That's, that's how we so want. Good. That's what we wanted to achieve. Yeah, hundred percent. Like, I mean, it is like sort of the ultimate German German track car or something. That's right. This is how BMW should have. This is how BMW should have built it, but yeah. for 
or whatever the reason they had, they had not to put this engine in this chassis. Yeah. It was a, basically the engine and the drive line is a yeah. straight because a lot of the parts get shared in M3. Yeah. And, and engine and gearbox is a straight bonking. Mm. All it needed was we need to shorten the tail shaft 90 millimeters yeah. and rebalance it. That's Damn. it. And that's it, everything else remains. Everything just remains. It's straight Apart bonking. from the engine. <laughs> Apart from the engine. And the electronics, well, uh, <laughs> Tom from JPL Auto Parts in Seven Hills, yeah. done all the electronics, he's a good mate of mine. Yeah. And he's the guru of all gurus BMW. Yeah. And he can make. What was his name? Tom from Tom. JPL Auto Parts. JPL Auto Parts, guys, remember to um, check them out as well in Seven Hills. And mate, he is, the, if you've got any problems with your BMW, this is where BMW dealers take their cars to get fixed. Wow. It, it, when they can't fix it. So it's a parts shop and a mechanic. Yes. Yeah. Nice. And, I, I, and me, he's a mechanic. He's a electric. Like he's just BMW electrician. Just yeah. master guru coding. Yeah. Electronics. You name it. He just does everything. Damn. You heard that, guys. <laughs> um, and your pretty much where you engineered this car was at your own place at Mad yes. Auto Developments. Yes, Mad yep. Auto Developments. Correct. So. Mad Auto Developments is where this, this car basically was born. So, I mean, it stands for Mad, <laughs> M-A-D. So who knows, maybe the next ultimate BMW tuner is gonna be from Australia and they're gonna be called Mad, you know? <laughs> who knows? I mean, this is just one of a kind. Like there's, I don't know. I've heard of one other 1M there's in two, the world. Uh, there's two others now. Two others and, and in the uh, world? Two in the world, yeah. Oh, oh wow. there's, there's a, there's a, there's a, I think there's about three or four now getting, another two or three getting built. But your one was like the first, first one. The yeah, first 1M, not the first V8 1 series. Yeah, there was yeah. one, uh, Brintek done a couple yeah. uh, in a hatch, one in a one, uh, in a 120 hour hatch, I yeah. believe. My mechanic actually told me about that, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, they built another 135, mm. one 1M clone, mm. uh, you know, like they had the 1M guards and stuff like that, but it was yeah. just a bo body kitted one. But it doesn't have the under, like the, the chassis of a 1M. Like well, it's got the chassis, similar chassis, but yeah. the suspension components, yeah, so brakes yeah. and stuff like that are totally Under the different. Hood. <laughs> they're, they're, they're totally different. Yeah. The only, the only similarities is the panels yeah. and the engine and gearbox and, and, and then the engine maybe impossibly the gearbox. I can't remember what they've done with it. Yeah. The 135 I had the seven speed DCT only dual in clutch. The, only in the late the later models the like LCI. 2011 and on. Yeah, yeah. So the earlier models didn't have it. Yeah. And it was an N55. Yeah. And, tr and trying to swap an N55 LCI into a V8 is next to impossible. Not yeah. to say it can't be done, but it's next to impossible. I mean, it doesn't have the same M DNA as this. No, so. and plus the electronics are totally different again. Ah, oh, right. Even though they share the same gearbox, yeah. it's similar, not the same similar gearbox. Yeah. It's 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 different. Yeah. It's like not not the same thing. Yeah. All right. Uh oh. Well. Uh, well on another note, yeah, a lot of these, a lot of these, I believe BMW was going to put a V8 in one of these cars <laughs> because all the, the a lot of the electronics are already there. Yeah, for the like DCT and other other components, there's yeah. a lot of parts missing. Yeah, but there, but there's a lot of parts already there. Yeah, so uh, who knows what BMW were thinking. Yeah, that's trying, just. Trying to build this car. You know I, mean, I mean, there's AMG with their C class V8s, and then there's this with their like half size of a C class, and then this guy just puts a V8 in it. <laughs> that's just like mad, as his business states. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, should we start with hearing how it sounds? And yeah, like, why not? Yeah? yeah, why not? All right. This is so exciting, guys. Like, I'm more excited than driving my car. <laughs> Yeah, I, I do hear 
those E92s sometimes when they go past they sound really really loud like yeah. originally oh well some most of them this is quiet compared to some of the others because oh. I had I had to put an extra muffler into it oh right so it's a little <laughs> bit quieter yeah than an E92 on E90 because yeah. we didn't we didn't want the drone inside the cab but we want to be able to have a conversation on the phone yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, watch the navigation and listen for road hazards mm. yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know so um because it, it, this is like this car commands attention when yeah, you're driving that's right yeah yeah because and that it, was the cold like the high revs that was a cold. that was a well sort of half yeah yeah because yeah. you drove it up, here so. that's to warm up the cats oh right that's a, like we never turned anything off in the car like yeah. everything is everything belongs at factory intended yeah so that was like the uh, medium uh, like a warm start yeah. to warm up the cats to pass it down so the car doesn't produce so much emissions yeah so it's green we we'll call it green that is so good i really do believe you should do something like the you know the alpinas and the this like this is like it feels like it should be the next thing <laughs> yeah well, the next business we've got something, we've got something, on the, we've got something in, the, in, the, in the works. Yeah. Uh, that's getting built right now, but we're not going to reveal that right now. Yeah, yeah. And uh, when it's finished, it's, yeah. I think it's going to it's going to blow people away. Yeah, I I believe so too. Like this is insane. Well, this is just a, a like uh, what's the word I'm looking for? That's like a, this is what we can do. Yeah. Watch out for next next project. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know how to say it, but it's pretty mad. That's what you can say. <laughs> That's it. exactly. <laughs> when we uh, when we do some when we do things, it's like we go to the next level. Yeah. What no one else has done. Yeah. And that's that's what, what you have that, to do. Like, that's that's how you stay ahead in the business. Yeah, like to differentiate and to yeah. be unique. That's exactly that's right. That's so good. Like it's good that like you've found, I guess, what your niche is or yeah. what you can offer yes. in terms of other car tuners and yeah, yeah. well we don't we don't well, our, our business we don't take customers we don't take walk-ins yeah it's by, uh, by not, trying to, not trying not trying to be like uh snobby or anything like that but yeah. we only take by invitation yeah like when we only take on the work we want to take yeah on. it's not like it's not like Oh, you have to do this, or I want mm. to get a water pump done. I said, go to the mechanics. To yeah. Do that. Okay. We we're yeah. a customization business. Yeah, yeah. And we that do, makes sense. Yeah. We do custom builds. That's, yeah. That's all we do. And there's so many of these businesses too. But like, yeah. if you differentiate, then yeah, that's what you have. To, that's that's good then. Like that yeah. means yeah, you shouldn't be we a mechanic. We can concentrate. Your... We can concentrate on a nitty gritty yeah. where, the, where the factory shortfalls are. Yeah. And that's what we intended. Mm. So. This is our finished project. Yeah. Near finished. Yeah. And there's always going to be little things that need to be touched up and fixed up and improved. Yeah. But it's 99.9% .9 finished. Just little decals and screw, you know, like maybe change a few screws and stuff like that yeah. that I don't like. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a perfectionist. If I see one screw that's even a little bit damaged, yeah. I change it because yeah. I want it perfect. It's our. 100%. It's, it's, our, it's our show painting, basically. Yeah every car every just about every show it goes to it wins an award yeah and uh we've got with cars i've got seven awards already yeah you wow know, like top of show top euro yeah uh like well, i can't remember the award but top <laughs> engine bay damn yeah like uh um, well it's definitely won the award of like probably the most coolest car in rev report <laughs> thank you that's yeah uh, and uh, I think we should go for a drive. Yeah, hundred percent. Show all the viewers yeah. how this thing really drives. Hundred and ten percent. I'm so excited, guys. Let's go. Guys, <laughs> okay. so so exciting. <laughs> Don't judge. <laughs> like look at this Alcantara everywhere. This is one M genuine, by the way. So it's not like it's just so nice. The stitching like the seats look at this like how cool are these these are m4 seats right m4 seats correct yeah this is just so nice guys all right let's head in that's the settings yeah this is so cool and this is upgraded right no this? this is factory oh so it came with the bigger i drive yes right nice. and we also integrated um 
we also integrated uh, Apple CarPlay and, oh. Andro and uh, Android Auto. Right, right, right. That's so cool. So we've got everything. Yeah. Music, ways, the whole lot. That's so good. And this is like the um, that's DCT. A, that's a DCT, yeah. We yeah. made our own custom boot. Oh, right. And all the electronics are hidden. Yeah. So you like all the, for the selections, like um, like the power button and mm. everything. So we, you know, so people just no. If anyone jumps in the car, they can't, can't go for a quick fang. Yeah. They're, they're going to be dumbed down basically in valet mode. Oh right. So that's yeah. there's a mode like that. Yeah. Oh. So then they're like, no one can just like. Like, like one of the mechanics or, or if you ever take it to a mechanic or yeah. something like that yeah. they can't just jump in and start smashing it around yeah yeah that's that's perfect so there's a lot of there's like a setting on yeah. the gearbox like how do you how do you do that like how oh, that's, you, that's a hidden uh, feature oh. I don't want to review oh, yeah, that yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. want to review that <laughs> that's right <laughs> yeah alright so and like the speakers they're Harman Kardon they're really nice aren't yes. they they're lovely the it's sound all, system it's all, it's all factory yeah it's all factory and we just yeah. like integrated everything to, to make it 100% working. That's just so good. And as you can see, in the, um, we even have the full M drive. All oh, right. From the uh, M3. We can set all the power, DSC, DSC, MDM mode, all the different settings for the gearbox. Shift lights, it comes with shift lights and a dash. It's got the fully integrated M3 dash cluster. That's so cool. So that's from an M3. M3, and it's got a, a, a new top speed of 330 kilometers an hour. <laughs> oh gosh. Unfortunately, we're not in Germany. So no, we we're not in Germany, so we're not going to be able to find that out. Oh no. But hey, this is just so cool. Like, all the electronics are basically an M3 in a 1M shape. 1M yeah. body. Yeah, it's all integrated, all into one. We've done all, took all the 1M electronics, took the, all the M3 electronics, it's yeah. all integrated it. Well, Tom integrated it yeah. from JPL Auto Parts, and he made it all work, talk to each other. Yeah. There's no errors, uh, there's no errors whatsoever. He's got the full paddles on the steering wheel, yeah. like they're supposed to be, and you select all the gears. Yeah. Um, and he's got full launch control. Yeah. A launch control like the GDS. Oh damn. Launch control. Yep. So I can take off like a like a bat out of hell. Yeah. You know? Wow. And uh, yeah, that's why that's why that thing does no wheel spin, zero to hundred in four seconds. That's so good. That's impressive. And it does a standing quarter mile in twelve six. You don't need you don't need more power that on the street. It's too yeah. quick as it is. Yeah. People <laughs> say, Oh you, you you want more power, I want more power, but this car's already a real handful. Yeah. At the tr we we done a we done a track day. First time we took it to a track day. Yeah. It was pouring rain, and uh, we were actually beating Lotuses. Yeah. We were beating STIs and WRXs. Maybe Damn. the drive. Maybe the drivers. I don't know. The drivers weren't that <laughs> good. I don't know. But it just goes. You do have to be pretty experienced in the track. But yeah. Well, like, we were our first time out, and we yeah. were like in the middle of the pack. Oh well. Yeah. That means it's the car. <laughs> yeah, the car. That does. The car is good. Yeah. And uh, our, my driving skills of, I'm not going to say I'm good. I'm average, very yeah. average. You know. Yeah. So I thought that was true testament of the car and how yeah. the car's set up, and uh, what it can actually do. In an experienced driver's hands, yeah, uh, that knows what they're doing. I reckon this car could have even been up in the top, top five. Man. But I'm I'm not good enough to uh, I'm not good enough to do that. So I'm not going to admit it. I like you know I'm 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 almost hitting fifty now. Yeah. And I'm I'm just concentrating on working and building cars. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. Like, and this is such an amazing start for you as well. Thank like, you. This is one of our first cars that we <gasps> major build we undertook. Yeah. It is my own personal car as well. So it's your daily driver. No, it's not my daily driver. Uh, my daily driver is actually a Tesla. Oh damn! <laughs> I've got a, uh, and so that's our that's our daily driver because the price of petrol has sort of skyrocketed in Australia. Sort of, <laughs> sort of. So we we went from doing a hundred dollars a week to doing ten dollars a week. Oh god! So this is just becoming a uh, what an 
uh, what else you call it? Is it gonna become a show pony mm. and a special occasion car? That's yeah. about it. Hundred percent. Yeah, I can see it's been really taken care of, and I think yeah, if you have something else to daily drive, then something more efficient like a Tesla. <laughs> yeah, and these are just a pre. These I've already been offered like one hundred eighty thousand dollars for this car to buy it, and, oh. I, and I knocked it back. Wow. Because to buy one of these, you need a hundred thousand dollars. It's only got it's got forty-seven thousand original the kilometers. One M is expensive on its own. So yeah. if it has low kilometers and and, and good a V8, shape and a V8 engine, yeah. But just the one M itself yeah. is expensive at yeah. low mileage with the standard everything. You're looking so if this at, has you're like a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. So if this has the M3 engine, then obviously it'll go up much more. Well, you to to build one of these, you yeah. you need you need to source a complete car, right? To yeah. do it. A complete car with 47,000 k's of, of, of an M3, which is a donor car, well, you, first of all, you wouldn't do it. But if yeah. you can find one, you're looking at around eighty to $90,000. Right? Yeah. A wrecked engine, like a, a salvage title, or they call it in America. A write-off. Or write-off in Australia. Yeah. You're looking at at least a low kilometer engine, engine like this, a low kilometer drive line, you're looking at at least thirty to $40,000. Yeah, that's right. And then you got to do all the work. Yeah. And that's another. A low kilometer write off one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're looking at twenty eight to thirty thousand or forty thousand dollars. Yeah. And then you're and then you're looking at all the work that needs to be done. And that's like yeah. to do the conversion. It took us seven days, but that was because we already knew what we're doing. Yeah. Like you planned and it all. We all we everything was pre planned. Yeah. So we both we turned up with both cars and we stripped both cars and done a transplant in one in in, in twenty four hours. Man, that is It's insane. all documented, all, all on video. <laughs> We've got all the video. Oh. And you can find it online, or is it just... No, it's like just personal. Uh, yeah. But if people want to see it, we can show it to them. Yeah. And um, what else? And then the electronics took another seven days, there because this electronics yeah. was a small nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> and, only Tom, and only Tom knows how to do it. Oh, man, I can it's, imagine. It is, it, is, it is so hard. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. The car, basically, the car is... We could have done it the easy way. We could have just changed the whole harness and adapted it and tried to adapt it. But then the car will rattle and squeak and we didn't want it to pull anything. When a car's put together at the factory, yeah. it's 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 all nice and tight and doesn't squeak. You yeah. start taking things apart, things start to rattle, you forget to clip things in, yeah. and it's and then you're forever chasing that rattle or that squeak that's in the car. Yeah. So we what we done is we ran all new like we done ran additional wiring and wired it into the factory computers and made it all work. Well, he done all the work, not we. I like, and he's just a, man, the guy's a freaking genius. Yeah. Anyway, let's go for a quick drive. Let's go. So, let me just um, set up the camera. Track, so I can't. Yeah. It's just a normal test drive, you know. Yeah. It's just so refined. It's such a yeah, like wow. Yep, yeah, it just drives just like a 
like factory intended it to do. It's like um, it's like you're drinking really nice red wine. Like <laughs> I'm a fan of wine, so that's okay. Yeah. Had the straight six twin turbo in '54 with, oh. with a manual gearbox. Yeah, we could have done it. We got the manual gearbox conversion. Yeah, but we wanted to have a funnel with the DCT first. Yeah, and then <laughs> if we get sick of it, yeah, well, we might change the manual. Have a go with in that in the future. In the future, yeah. but that's up until then. We just wanted something different. Mm. And with the Sydney traffic, manual's a bit of a pain in the ass. Oh, hundred like, percent. So like. You see, you're, you're, there's no open roads. Is there like, if you want to go open road, you got to go like an hour out of Sydney at least. Yeah. And then there's still speed limits of 60 kilometers an hour, so there's no fun. Yeah. The only way place you can have fun these days is going to the track, and that's, that's what. That's right. Yeah. And that's what we do. That's oh, right. Well, that's what we started to do. Yeah. Because, yeah, you could quite easily lose your license in Australia very quickly. Yeah. Suspension is a little bit firm, but it needs you to control the power out of this engine. I think it's really good. The suspension for this car, it's like for what it is, it's good. But yeah, because it has no burbles, I'd like it's really refined. Like it's yes. really. We don't want to draw any attention to ourselves except from the yeah. looks uh, looks department. Yeah. Well, like it's we just, just want yeah. we just want to. Have it's going to be it's the cars to have, have fun for That's me right. to enjoy not for everybody else to enjoy 110 percent. and i don't need to show off or oh look at me look at me <laughs> i'm I look at me i've got a big v8 yeah not interested yeah that like we're going to jump on the highway the way so, it goes the way the um revs build up it just sounds it sounds amazing, like... Oh. <laughs> and that's 80? <laughs> that's 80. <laughs> My goodness. sequential gearbox yeah but then it's going to get becomes really really noisy and that uh, it is yeah it's stronger than we can turn and put a supercharger on it yeah. and but you know what we had that we had that with a twin turbo yeah and the car the chassis is not suited for that kind of power yeah so i think we found the right balance between handling and power output yeah. and um, and that's that's where we are at right where we're at right now yeah <coughs> yeah i actually um going back to what you were talking about or like showing off and you know being on the road public roads yes i see a lot of a lot of really idiotic personalities where they just like as soon as they see a performance car they want to race it and they want Correct. to do all sorts of trouble on the road yes it's not, save, save it's not the safe. racing for the racetrack it's like you 
when you feel like when you feel like you want to hear it, you want to have fun, like for a few seconds, then yeah. you do it. You don't do it because someone else is having the same feeling. You know what I mean? Correct. You don't do it because you see another car. Like that's yeah. We're we're quite welcome. Someone wants to go, or wants to come and check it out, or yeah, or like go check out the car, or you see the work we do. That's we'll, so we'll good. Yeah. Come and meet us at the racetrack. Yeah, and then you can see how. Well, well, the car, well, the car's built, and if they want to, like, if they want to do something like this themselves, yeah, we need more people like you in the car community. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a very expensive hobby. This is not. Is. Oh. This is not for the. Uh, this is not for the average Joe Blow. No. No. This is like this is this is for people that we we don't charge much. Yeah. But the problem is the parts cost a lot of money. BMW. Oh yeah. And after and uh, and uh, aftermarket sector just. 100%. They know how to. They know, they how, know to, how to rip you off. They know how to, like, well, because not, you need I, it. You I know. wouldn't say they're ripping us off. Yeah. And look at this. Doesn't know how to drive. I know. I know. Another BMW driver, shame on you. I can't talk. Ask, the viewers can ask about questions if they like. I, yeah. I, I don't I know. I don't know how to answer. If, I, don't, I, I don't remember half the things I've done with this car. Yeah. You guys make sure you need to comment and share the video for other people to have a look at and share your thoughts on what you guys think. I think this is all. Oh, I just have no words, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's just insane, like, it's like there's AMG and then there's MAD 1M, like MAD Auto Developments 1M, which has a V8 in it. What would you call this car? Like, if you were to make it a model, what would you call it? Like, as you a, still call as it a, as a number plate says, one M three. You would call it a one M three. Yes. So mad. So BMW mad one M three. No, no, it's like one M yeah. and M three. It's like rolled into one. But what if you were to make your own brand? So you know how there's Alpina. What would you call it? So like, you know how there's Alpina B three and things like that. What would you call I, it? I've never really thought about it. You I've never thought? No, I've really never thought about it. But I think you should start thinking. <laughs> yeah, but if, uh, um, yeah, I just don't know what yeah. to call it. I, don't, I would really have to think about that. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I think it would be so cool. You have like your own logo and like your own range of cars, but that's in the future, you know? Like yes. When you when you have more time to think about it. And, that's yeah. correct. Well, we at the moment, it's it was still in uncertainty with the COVID and oh, everything. 110%. Like, so yeah. we've just been concentrating on building building our own cars. Yeah. And uh, just showing what, to show off what we can actually do. Yeah. And um, we got our hands on a, we got our hands on a, um, individual yellow, Phoenix yellow 335i. Oh, yeah. And so one of a kind, oh. one of a kind, yeah. or in that color, not one of a kind car, just one of one color, yeah. indiv individual color. Yeah. And uh, so we've it's got BMW we, individual. Yes. Color. And then we're a like three three five i. Yes, a what? Phoenix yellow. Phoenix yeah. yellow. What is it? An E forty six. E forty six M three color. Oh. It's a, it's a real special color, and we've been like developing that. Yeah. And a lot of the a lot of the parts came came out of this car. Yeah. Is going in that car. So, uh, so that one's but going to be yeah, we're, like going, a, we're going to have a yeah. we're going to have a twist on a on a transmission. We're going to uh -huh. do something different. So that's a surprise. That's a surprise. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, we'll see. It. We'll see. Oh, it's, uh, <laughs> oh, an SL. No way. Is that name GSL? I don't think so. No. Oh, yeah, Actually, it's sixty-three. Yes. Those cars are nice. A lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool to have like people like you to be able to um like to have your to have like a open mindset to bring cars like this out and like to share them with other to others, but not be too like what do they call it ostentatious or like too um over like uptight. Yes. So many people are like that these days. No, we 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 come from we come from humble beginnings. Yeah. Thank you so much for the ride. No problem. It's been such a pleasure, and yeah, like I don't know, this car 
I can imagine it handles amazingly. Correct. <laughs> Compared to the one two five Y I drove. Actually, I drove an M one forty I as well. Yeah. But I thought it was too quick. Like I couldn't drive it um, too fast because it was in Parramatta and oh it yeah, was too no, busy. That, yeah, that's yeah. exactly right. Well, this car is very quick as well, yeah. but. Uh, you just can't drive it on Sydney it roads. Just, we just haven't yeah. got that facility. We have, our roads are just not good enough yeah. to push these cars to the limit. And uh, the only place you can really do that is the racetrack. And maybe that's another video for another time. That's right. Yeah, 100%. That pretty much concludes the, the video. Thanks so much, guys, for thank, watching. Thank you. Um, and yeah, thanks again for the ride. And yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. <laughs> thank you. All right. Cheers, guys. Have a good one. Thank you.